Hey guys, so I just wanted to quickly show you how I've edited this photo that I took using my iPhone 7 um, and I've edited using it using the Lightroom app on my phone. So basically um, I started with this, this photo and then I've got my presets that I've loaded into the app and I'm just going to use one of those as a starting point for the editing. So I'm going to go ahead and use Mermaid Tails in cool. Basically I just click on that, copy the settings, OK, and then I jump back into my photo which was here and then I paste those settings onto this photo. So the first thing I'm going to do after pasting in those settings is crop the photo into the area that I want the final photo to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to go into the light tab and look at the exposure. So I just want to bump that up a little bit around there. Um, going to bring the contrast down just a little bit and the highlights I'm going to bring back to zero because there's quite a lot of um, light and shade in this photo so I just want to try and balance that out um, and then I'm going to bump the shadows right up bring the whites right back down and the blacks I'm actually going to bump up a little bit as well just to compensate for that dark shadow or silhouette kind of look you can get with sunset so now I'm pretty happy with the lighting I'm going to go into the color tab and first we're going to go into the mix tab and look at each of the individual colors so I want to give this a really nice pink sunsetty look so I'm just going to play around a little bit and maybe bring the reds into more of a pinky hue um, and desaturate them a little bit so it's not too bright and then I'm actually going to bring the luminance down a bit too. Then for orange I'm going to again bump it down to the pinker end of the scale. Maybe bring the saturation up a little bit and bump the lightness up a little bit. Then for yellow I'm going to actually move that all the way down this end and probably desaturate it a little bit and bring the luminance down a little bit too. Um, there is isn't any greens in this photo in this photo, so I'm not going to worry about greens. There's also no turquoises, so I'm going to move on to blue. And I'm going to bring that hue down into the more aqua area and desaturate it a bit so it's not too bright. And then I'm going to just bump the luminance up a little bit. And then purple. So I'm going to again bump it up to the pinker end of the scale. And I'm going to desaturate it quite a lot. And then we'll also lighten it up quite a lot as well. And then for our pinks, I think I might just leave that because it doesn't really look like there's any in there. All that um, pink you can see now is actually started as red. So I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to look at my temperature and my tint. So I'm going to bring the temperature up a bit, make it warmer. And the tint I'm going to bring up quite a lot to really get that pink sunset look. And then vibrance I'm going to bring down a little bit. And saturation I'm actually going to bring up a little bit. So then I'm going to move on to the effects tab and here clarity I'm going to bring up a little bit just to refine things a bit more. Dehaze I'm going to leave at 15 and then 
think that's it for that bit. And then into the detail tab. So I'm actually going to sharpen this quite a lot because it was taken on the iPhone. So the detail can be a bit lacking sometimes. And then the detail I'm also going to bring up quite a lot. Around there, and then the smoothness I'm going to really push up because, um, also with an iPhone photo, sometimes it can get a bit pixely because the quality is not quite as high, um, so that just like smooths any of that out. And that is basically it for the main edits of the photo so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking but now I'm going to focus in on some of the smaller details and I'm going to go into um, the selective tab and do some selective edits so just click on the plus in the top left hand corner and then on the paintbrush so that allows us to paint certain areas that we can then edit without affecting the rest of the photo oops so I'm just going to zoom in because I I think my hair is looking a bit dark and I'm going to color that in so it shows up as red just to show you what area you're actually selecting and then once I'm happy with that I can go down the bottom and do some editing so I'm going to bump up the exposure a bit so I actually look blonde because I am and then maybe the contrast a little bit and then I think a bit of clarity and a bit of sharpness so then if I click on the tick and zoom back out you can see that that my hair looks a lot more detailed than it did so now I'm also going to do this rock that I'm sitting on because I think it could look a bit prettier. So I'm going to go back into selective, plus sign, and then the paintbrush. I'm just going to color that rock area in. And if you do go out of the lines, there is an eraser. So I'll show you, it's just here. And then you can erase any bits that. So that looks good. So now I'm going to change the lighting a bit. I'm gonna make it a bit brighter and maybe a bit more contrast and then with the color I'm gonna really push up the warmth so it kind of gets that warm reflection from the sun and also probably up the pink a bit too so pretty happy with that and then I also want this swan to be a bit to stand out a bit more so I'm going to go back into selective get my paintbrush again and color him in so I'm going a bit out of the lines there so I'll just grab the eraser and make that a bit neater I mean you can only be so detailed when you're working with your finger oops so that's actually moved the whole mask way back into the paintbrush. Okay. So that's probably as good as I'm going to get it. And then I'm also going to lighten him up a bit so that he stands out. And maybe in the effects I'm going to up the clarity to give him some more detail and in colour I'm also going to 
add some warmth and some pink. And then if it's a tick, I'll zoom back out. And so I'm pretty happy with how that's looking now. So you can see the, um, if I hold that down, that's the before. And now that's the after with my editing. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Um, I will also post a before and after after this video. Actually, I just remembered that there was one more thing I wanted to do with the selective edits. So I want to make the sky at the top a bit bluer. So I'm actually going to use a gradient rather than the paintbrush. And basically just drag and drop that so that it is in the area that you want it to be. And then I'm going to go into the color tab and I'm just going to bring the coolness down a bit so it's a bit bluer and then actually I'll just leave the tint how it is. And maybe expose it a little bit more. So then it's just a bit bluer. So now that's the before and the after. Right, thanks guys. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if there's anything else that you would like to, me to show you um, with phone editing.